Hey everyone, Brad here from Global Adventures. Uh, so for our in-home studio and some of our travel stuff, uh, we have a pack of lights that we bought and they're just a little too big for us uh, for carrying around. So uh, check them out here. Uh, see how it, it's a really nice size screen and it puts out great light. However, it's a little more studio friendly, uh, bigger space friendly. It's not really as economical to carry around um, or to set up in a small room like I have. So I went out, uh, checked out Amazon, found some from Neewer. Uh, it's a two pack dimmable USB light. Um, it comes with stands, comes with filters, everything that we're gonna need, and they're small. So um, let's get to unboxing, check them out, get them plugged in and see how they work. We have our box just came in newer uh, this is the brand I'll put a link down below to the egg to the exact set that I purchased um, let's check it out see what it comes with all right nice economical packaging here are the filters all right and here are the two lights all right here's the first one it fits about in the palm of your hand or at least the palm of my hand um, it's got a nice lengthy cord it's got its dimmer switch, on, off, up, down, with the dimmer. Right, I'm going to unwrap it here. So, like I said, the ones I previously purchased, they're great lights. They work wonderful. Um, however, they're just too big. It comes in a big case that you have to lug around. Um, you know they catch a lot of wind so I wanted something smaller something that would be a little easier for us to move around with not such a big profile when you're trying to set things up um, I don't mind making a big scene but um, just you know the big bulkiness you need a lot of room so if you're in around a lot of people and you want that extra light um, that you just don't have um, with the portable lights um, you want something a little more easy to work with all right so here it is so from the light to about about six feet two six feet three cable so that's pretty good um, here's where the filters go in and out there's all the little LEDs all right filter just slides in and out so the diffusing ones in there right now um, we'll play around with them later on and see which ones work the best for lighting our 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 office space um, but so far it looks neat it has the screw at the bottom so you can attach to your stands or attach the stands that came with it all right let's check out the stands all right so underneath the LED are the stands let's get them unpacked set one up and see how it looks Oh, this is really nice. You can even use your GoPro on it. Check that out. It has a little Go GoPro type clamp. Perfect. Multi-use, so I can use it for more than just my lights. All right, so here it's the screw in for the top of the light. Little comfort hand grip here. Another screw in so you can attach it to another tripod. Right, this looks like the bottom piece. Yep. All right, here's the tri portion of the tripod. Ah, it's got some good width so it should be fairly stable it's light kind of plastic um, seems strong enough these are the two pieces it comes with this is one tripod um, 
So you have your option of either handheld with the nice cushion here, you can use your light, or attaching it to the tripod and setting it up. So let's attach it and let's see what we're looking at. Nice and smooth. Okay, there's a little instruction on here. It shows you how to extend it. Give it a little twist and pull. All right. Back up a little bit. All right, looks like it has three levels. And it's a good, give it a twist to tighten it on. And it's probably a good three and a half feet. All right, so a nice little compact unit. This will fit nicely in a backpack. I'll break it down even farther um, if need be. Let's go ahead and attach one of these. And we'll get it plugged in and see how much light it puts out. All right. Goes on nicely. A little twist. Tighten it up. All right. I'm going to go ahead and set it on the floor and extend it up. start here so you can see. Give it a little twist. One level, two level, three level, and then twist to tighten. Just like any other telescoping tripod that you might have. All right. There you have it. So it's about ah, three and a half, four feet tall. So it's going to be nice. Um, head on if I need to adjust where it sits if I have to set it up on a, on a shelf or on the desk to provide different coloring like with the, the different filters I can do that all right so let's get it plugged up and see how it works all right it's all plugged up let's hit the switch boom wow that puts out a lot of light look at that Whew. let's dim it down some all right, dims nicely. That looks like the lowest it's going to go for dimming down. Really nice. You can totally tell the difference. I'll put it on my face again here. Um, now let's watch what happens. I'm going to use the up button. It's good light. Lots of light. All right, I'm going to set it up over here next to the one I'm currently using. You can see the difference. Now, I think since this one is much shorter than the other one but I can use the other tripod if I need to because this one is interchangeable um, with the various tripods so I'm gonna set them next to each other we'll see the difference All right. there you can tell the difference between the sizes and the light output so the ones that I had before they were one size um, one setting on or off, one big giant bulb. Uh, but this new LED one um, is, allows you to dim. You see the profile is much smaller, puts out a lot of light. Now the bigger one may cover a, a you know, larger area, but um, when it gets dark later tonight, maybe I'll check it out with the room completely dark and just see which one works a little better. So I wanted to get something with a little more versatility. Now I paid for these LED ones twice as much as I did this other set. Um, but from what I can tell so far, it looks like it's going to be worth it. Wow. I need to dim it a little bit. All right. There we go. So like I said, we wanted something a little smaller, a little more compact, a little easier to move around with and use when we're out and about. Uh, when you get into some tight areas, you might need some lights. You never know if you're in buildings, in shadows, and you want to light things up a little bit. So I mentioned at the beginning that these are USB light switches. So at the end of the cable, it's not a normal, you know, 110 power plug. It's actually USB. So let's see if it's going to work. So I grabbed a power bank. Let's plug it in and make sure that it works on the road. Um, I'm not sure how long it will last on a power bank. But if you usually carry a few of these around with you, it uh, should work, uh, hopefully, uh, for when you're out and about. 
So let's plug it in and see what happens. All right. The moment of truth. Hey, it works. And it dims. All right. This will be a success. And that's just off a regular standard um, power bank that you buy anywhere. All right. Let's see what else is in here. And then here's the second tripod. Now there's a third attachment, third component. Looks like a little swivel arm. Oh yeah, very nice. So we can either turn it sideways, up, tilt it, whichever angle we need, 360. It's going to screw in, hopefully to any tripod. Hopefully it's not size restricted. Uh, I assume these are standard. I'm not an expert in tripods, but I assume they're standardized. Um, so they'll work amongst each other. This is actually going to be useful for a lot of different functions. Uh, so again, 52 bucks, two lights, two tripods, two of these. I should probably, if you know what, the, what they call these, the official term, uh, post it in the comments below. I can't think of it off the top of my head, um, but very good. Awesome. All right, let's check out the filters. I'm going to shine these right at you in the camera so you can see what they look like. All right, so here's just the regular white diffuser. All right, now I have this on lower setting. So I'm going to pop that one out. Uh, and the first one we have here is blue, just a regular blue. Let's drop this bad boy in there. All right, that comes with a nice blue glow. Uh, you can see the little LEDs through it. Um, now I'm not going to get into kid coloring, but I'm wondering if you can fit multiple. Oh, you can. Look at that. Check it out. I made a green. All right, so if you've got kids, ask your kids what colors make what colors. So I slid the yellow one on top of the blue and made a green. All right. Blue. Two diffusers. Two yellow red all right let's, let's check out the yellow boom yellow what goes with yellow red make orange all right yellow's nice and last but not least red all right, nice. Let's crank up the power here, see how bright red it gets. Oh, you don't have to click the button. If you just hold the up or down arrow, it will automatically brighten or dim. All right. All right, boom. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this opening of the Neewer uh, LED tripod lighting system. Uh, so far, so good. I think it's going to be very useful. $52 on Amazon. I'll put the link below. Um, I would highly recommend getting this set, especially with the versatility of the tripod and the attachments that it comes with, along with the filters. Um, very nice. All right, everyone, there you have it. Here's our new purchase that came in today. I was working on the Monterey Bay scuba video when this came in, so I thought I'd take a break and show everyone what came in the mail. If you like this video, if you want to know more about it, if you want to know more about our setup, please subscribe, click the bell to be notified of new videos and check out our other videos on our channel. We hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone.
See you on the next adventure. All right, so we have the newer box. See, it's small. It's only about a foot by a half a foot. Um, take two. All right, looks like it has three levels. And it's a good, give it a twist to tighten it on. And it's... <laughs>